in the year of the dragon, in a world beyond the realms. I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. But the Dark Master heard the prophecies as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh, how I was wrong. Save them! The Dark Armies have come! May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp, where a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers. And a more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true. But one of them, nonetheless. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. <laughs> yeah, you better run.
What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly? Oh, that's right. You walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you. Ah, must be tough to lose all the time. Sp ah! All right, let me out of here, you overgrown fungus. Spyro, seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's gotta eat, too. Spyro, whack it! Do something! I'm your buddy! My wings are getting moldy! Ugh. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker! So much for gratitude. That's cheating. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, uh, excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Now, where's that little gnat gone now? Has everybody seen a giant purple thing around here? I seem to have lost mine. This is getting a little boring. <laughs> Sparks! <laughs> I thought all you guys was gone. Invisible coward, let me go! <laughs> uh, don't let him get away! Wow! <laughs> 
breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. Yeah, with some help. He nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me. Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh, Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all, but in fact an exile from an unknown distant land. So... You, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere, and I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you, because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong in a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up. Your nose clean? And use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. So, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know.
boy, go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're... you're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? W what are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? They were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. The temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you... They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You. Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might uh, mix that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Army's attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. For many years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. And when we were beginning to turn the tide, sin. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched a cinder pluck to the other guardians from the fields of battle, like so many ripe grapes from a vine. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I, Ignitus, managed to escape. Not that it matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been. What else I might have done? Wow. Sounds fun. I want to hang out with this guy. Yeah. Why have you given up? I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home or family left? I've come way too far to give up now. I want to see where I come from. Hold up, Savior Boy. Were you not listening to this guy? He's talking about flying dragons and war and horrible... This is bad stuff, all right? I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. It's true the prophecies spoke of the purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually going to go along with this lunatic. Very well, then. 
will go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. Am I the only one saying here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff. Cinder's soldiers must have knocked the other two statues out of place. Heathens. What other two statues? On the other side of this door are two statues just like these. When all four statues are positioned correctly, the door opens.
will have to open it the old-fashioned way. Make your way through the connecting rooms, restoring every statue you can find. Hey, you know what? Let's don't and say we didn't. Why don't you do it? You want my help? Money will help. Hop up. All right. The old guy's coming to life. Careful, Spy. Cinder's forces are surely on their way. Oh, goody. Ooh, take a gander at this. Hey, Spyro, what was that about? I don't really know. I just felt like I had to hit it. And when I did, the power of a thousand suns surged through my body. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? You should really sleep better. You know, I'm gonna stop bugging you. You really need to get eight hours. Forget I said anything. Let's go. Our spirit gem. A gift from the ancestors. What kind of gift? A gift that speaks across generations. A gift that empowers you with the spirit of the past, strengthening you with the wisdom of the ages. I feel more powerful already.
show you what a dragon trained in the ancient ways can do. Cinder's forces were here. There will certainly be more of them in the temple. Oh, goody. They won't be there for long. Wonderful. Now he's getting cocky.
This is what Singa has done. Put all the islands under her iron rule. I wanted to see where I came from. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah, no offense, but this place is a bit of a dump. This was once our home, Spyro. Together we can make it our home once again. Reclaim what's rightfully ours. What do you mean? I mean that my time for heroics is past. But with your help, we might be able to beat Cinder. I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. You've given me hope again. And now it's time to give hope to all of them. I'm not sure what help I can be, Ignitus, but I'll try. I'll try. Good. That's all I can ask. Now come with me. I have something for you. The style you used earlier is crude, archaic, and obvious. But you got the job done. Not bad, considering you haven't been taught anything about what it means to be a dragon. Thanks. But if you're going to have a chance against Cinder and her army, you're going to need to learn about the Oh, good. School. Unlike any school you the Guardians is master of an element. I, as you may have surmised, am master of fire. Pay attention, and you may be someday too. Let's begin. You seem to have learned the ability to breathe fire on your own. That's very impressive. I love
face once more. Over here. Spyro, you must learn that there is a time and a place for everything. Here are the bill. Well done. The training is just getting started. This way, oh Marv One. Knocking enemies up into the air allows many opportunities for continued attacks. In the air, your wings give you the advantage.
see if you can successfully lock an enemy back into a larger group. Let me 
get this straight. You're saying that I can fly? Maybe you've been hanging in those caves a little too long, old man. Spyro can't fly, we all know that. Yeah, but a bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. It's you who will be getting some fresh air, Spyro. Now, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. <laughs> 